How often should adults shower? The frequency of showering for adults can vary based on individual preferences, lifestyle, and personal hygiene needs. There is no one-size-fits-all answer, as different factors can influence how often someone should shower. Here are some considerations to keep in mind. 1. Body odor. People who tend to sweat more or have a stronger body odor may prefer to shower more frequently. Daily showers might be necessary for individuals who are physically active, work in hot environments, or live in humid climates. 2. Skin type. Some individuals have sensitive or dry skin, and frequent showering can strip the skin of its natural oils, leading to dryness and irritation. In such cases, it may be better to shower less often, perhaps every other day or every few days. 3. Hair type. The type of hair a person has can also influence how often they need to shower. Individuals with oily hair might choose to shower more frequently to manage the oil buildup, while those with dry or curly hair may opt for less frequent washing to preserve natural oils. 4. Environmental factors, living in areas with high levels of pollution or allergens, might prompt more frequent showers to cleanse the skin and hair. 5. Personal preferences, ultimately, how often someone showers is often a matter of personal preference and cultural norms. Some individuals may find daily showers invigorating and a part of their routine, while others may feel comfortable with less frequent washing. 6. Medical conditions, certain medical conditions, such as skin infections or excessive sweating, hyperhidrosis, may require more frequent showering under the guidance of a healthcare professional. Those who have acne or dermatitis, may benefit from daily showers to keep the affected areas clean and prevent infection. 7. People with allergies or sensitivities, daily showers can be helpful for individuals with allergies or sensitivities to common environmental allergens, as it helps remove allergens from the skin and hair. In general, daily showers are considered the norm in many Western cultures. But it's essential to listen to your body and adjust your showering frequency to what makes you feel comfortable and clean without causing skin or hair issues. If you're uncertain about the best approach for your specific needs, it's always a good idea to consult with a dermatologist or healthcare provider for personalized advice. Who needs to shower every day? The need to shower every day can vary from person to person based on several factors. While daily showering is a common practice in many cultures, it may not be necessary for everyone. Daily showering can help manage body odor and keep it in check. Some individuals with dry or sensitive skin, certain hair types, or specific medical conditions may benefit from showering less frequently to preserve natural oils and avoid skin irritation. Do teens need to shower daily? Like adults, the need for teens to shower daily can vary based on individual factors, lifestyle, and personal hygiene needs. While some teens may prefer or find it necessary to shower every day, others may not need to do so. Here are some considerations for teens and daily showering. 1. Physical activity. Teenagers who are physically active, participate in sports, or engage in regular exercise may sweat more and accumulate dirt, making daily showers beneficial to maintain cleanliness and prevent body odor. 2. Hormonal changes. During adolescence, hormonal changes can lead to increased oil production on the skin and scalp. Teens with oily skin or hair might choose to shower daily to manage excess oil and keep their skin and hair clean. 3. Personal hygiene habits. Some teens may naturally have good personal hygiene habits. And as long as they maintain cleanliness in other ways, like washing hands regularly, they may not feel the need to shower every day. 4. Skin conditions. Teens with certain skin conditions, such as acne or eczema, may benefit from daily showers to keep their skin clean and prevent flare-ups. A daily shower or bath is one of the best ways to remove bacteria from your skin and prevent eczema flare-ups. However, showers and baths can also cause eczema flare-ups and skin irritation. 5. Cultural norms. Cultural norms and family habits can also influence how often a teen showers. Some families may emphasize daily showering, while others may have different practices. 6. Individual preferences. Ultimately, the decision to shower daily is often based on personal preferences and comfort. 
Some teens may prefer daily showers for relaxation or to establish a routine. While others may feel more comfortable with less frequent showering. It's essential for teens to understand the importance of maintaining good personal hygiene. Which includes regular showering, especially when they are involved in activities that cause them to sweat or accumulate dirt. However, if a teen has dry or sensitive skin or other reasons that make daily showers uncomfortable or irritating, they can choose to shower less frequently as long as they maintain general cleanliness. Parents and guardians can have open discussions with their teens about personal hygiene practices, help them understand the importance of cleanliness, and support their decisions, while ensuring they are maintaining appropriate hygiene standards. How often should I shower if I have eczema? If you have eczema, how often you should shower can be a bit different from individuals without the condition. Eczema is a skin condition that leads to dry, itchy, and inflamed skin. Frequent bathing or showering, especially with hot water, can potentially worsen eczema symptoms. By stripping the skin of its natural oils and causing further dryness and irritation. Therefore, finding the right balance of showering frequency and proper skin care is essential. Here are some tips to consider. 1. Avoid daily hot showers. Try to avoid taking hot showers every day, as hot water can exacerbate eczema symptoms. Instead, opt for lukewarm or cool showers to avoid drying out your skin excessively. 2. Shorter showers. Keep your showers short, ideally around 5 to 10 minutes. Prolonged exposure to water can lead to increased moisture loss from the skin. 3. Use mild, fragrance-free cleansers. Choose gentle, fragrance-free cleansers or soap substitutes specifically formulated for sensitive skin or eczema. Avoid harsh soaps or products with strong fragrances, as they can be irritating. 4. Pat dry gently, after showering, pat your skin dry with a soft towel instead of rubbing, which can further irritate the skin. 5. Moisturize immediately, apply a moisturizer immediately after showering while your skin is still slightly damp. This helps to lock in moisture and keep your skin hydrated. 6. Consider bathing alternatives. On days when you don't shower, you can consider other alternatives. To freshen up, such as a sponge bath or using a washcloth to cleanse specific areas. 7. Stay hydrated. Drinking enough water can also help maintain your skin's moisture levels. 8. Identify triggers. Pay attention to any specific triggers that worsen your eczema symptoms and try to avoid them. Ultimately, the frequency of showering will depend on your individual eczema condition and skin sensitivity. Some people with eczema may find that showering every other day or every few days is sufficient. While others may need to shower daily but with the precautions mentioned above. It's crucial to listen to your body and adjust your showering routine based on how your skin responds. If you have concerns about managing your eczema or need personalized advice, consider consulting with a dermatologist or healthcare professional with experience in treating eczema for tailored recommendations. What are the health impacts of showering or bathing every day? Showering or bathing every day can have both positive and negative health impacts. Depending on various factors such as individual skin type, hygiene practices, water temperature, and the products used. Here are some potential health impacts of daily showering or bathing. Positive health impacts 1. Improved hygiene. Regular showering helps remove sweat, dirt, bacteria, and environmental pollutants from the skin and hair, promoting overall cleanliness and reducing the risk of infections. 2. Odor control. Daily showering can help manage body odor by washing away sweat and bacteria that can cause unpleasant smells. 3. Relaxation and stress relief. For many people, a daily shower can be a relaxing and therapeutic experience, contributing to reduced stress and improved mental well-being. 4. Skin hydration. Applying moisturizers after showering can help lock in moisture, keeping the skin hydrated and preventing dryness. Negative health impacts. 1. Dry skin and irritation. Frequent showering, especially with hot water and harsh soaps, can strip the skin of its natural oils, leading to dryness, irritation, and exacerbation of certain skin conditions like eczema.
2. Hair Damage Daily shampooing in hot water can strip the hair of its natural oils, leading to dry, brittle, and damaged hair. 3. Bacterial Imbalance Excessive showering can disrupt the skin's natural bacterial balance, potentially leading to overgrowth of certain bacteria and skin issues. 4. Water Usage Daily showers can contribute to higher water usage, which can be a concern in regions with water scarcity. 5. Environmental Impact Excessive use of certain personal care products and the disposal of empty containers can have negative environmental consequences. To strike a balance and maintain optimal health. 1. Use mild products, choose gentle, fragrance-free cleansers and shampoos to avoid irritation. 2. Shorter showers, keep your showers short and use lukewarm water instead of hot water. 3. Moisturize, apply moisturizers after showering to help retain skin moisture. 4. Pay attention to signs, monitor your skin and hair condition, if you notice dryness or irritation. Consider reducing shower frequency or adjusting your routine. 5. Consider alternatives, on some days, you can consider a quick sponge bath, or spot cleaning instead of a full shower if you don't feel particularly sweaty or dirty. How long should you shower? The ideal shower duration can vary depending on individual factors, personal hygiene needs, and environmental considerations. In general, a shower that lasts around 5 to 15 minutes is considered sufficient for most people. However, there are some factors to consider when determining the appropriate shower duration. 1. Skin and hair type. If you have dry or sensitive skin, shorter showers are advisable to avoid excessive moisture loss and skin irritation. For individuals with oily skin or hair, slightly longer showers might be necessary to ensure thorough cleansing. 2. Hygiene needs. If you are physically active, live in a hot and humid climate, or engage in activities that cause you to sweat more, you may need longer showers to cleanse your skin thoroughly. 3. Environmental Impact Reducing shower duration can help conserve water and reduce your environmental footprint, especially in regions facing water scarcity. 4. Temperature of water Hot water can dry out the skin, so if you prefer warmer temperatures, consider keeping the shower shorter to minimize the drying effect. 5. Shower Routine If you're combining other activities in the shower, such as washing your hair, shaving, or exfoliating, it might extend the overall shower duration. 6. Personal Preference Ultimately, how long you should shower depends on your personal preference and what makes you feel clean and comfortable. As a general guideline, a 5-10 to 10 minute shower is usually sufficient for most people to cleanse their bodies effectively without excessively drying out the skin. If you need additional time for other grooming activities, such as washing your hair or shaving, you can adjust the total time accordingly. Keep in mind that the quality of your shower routine is just as important as the duration. Using mild cleansers and avoiding hot water can help maintain the health and hydration of your skin and hair. If you have specific skin concerns or medical conditions, consult with a dermatologist or healthcare professional for personalized recommendations on showering practices. How long can you go without showering? The length of time someone can go without showering can vary based on individual factors, lifestyle, and personal hygiene practices. In general, the human body is capable of maintaining cleanliness and health for a certain period even without daily showering. While it is generally acceptable for most people to go a day or two without showering, beyond that, it becomes important to consider hygiene and comfort. Some individuals may find it necessary to shower every day due to their lifestyle or personal preferences, while others may be comfortable with showering every other day or less frequently. It's essential to listen to your body and maintain cleanliness through other means. If you decide to go longer between showers, such as changing clothes regularly, practicing good hand hygiene, and keeping your hair and body groomed. What happens if you go months without showering? Going for months without showering would have severe consequences for both your physical health and social well-being. While it's highly uncommon and unlikely for someone to go for such an extended period without showering, here are some of the potential consequences that could arise. 
1. Skin infections and irritation, without regular cleansing, sweat, bacteria, and dead skin cells can accumulate on the skin, leading to an increased risk of skin infections and irritations. Bacterial and fungal growth can cause conditions like folliculitis, impetigo, or ringworm. 2. Body odor. The buildup of sweat and bacteria can result in extremely strong and unpleasant body odor, which can be socially isolating and lead to stigmatization. 3. Increased risk of acne, accumulated dirt, oil, and bacteria can clog pores and contribute to the development of acne, especially if someone has oily skin. 4. Worsening of skin conditions, individuals with existing skin conditions like eczema or psoriasis could experience flare-ups and worsening symptoms due to lack of proper skin care. 5. Hair and scalp problems, without regular shampooing and cleansing. The hair and scalp can become greasy, dirty, and prone to issues like dandruff and infections. 6. Social isolation, strong body odor and poor personal hygiene are likely to lead to social isolation. As others may find it challenging to be around someone with such hygiene practices. 7. Mental and emotional impact, the negative physical effects, combined with the social consequences, can lead to a decline in mental and emotional well-being, possibly resulting in feelings of embarrassment, depression, or low self-esteem. 8. Insect infestations, prolonged lack of personal hygiene can attract insects and pests, which can further exacerbate skin and health issues. It's important to emphasize that maintaining proper personal hygiene including regular bathing or showering, is essential for overall health and well-being. Daily or regular showers help remove sweat, dirt, bacteria, and dead skin cells, keeping the skin and hair clean and healthy. If someone is facing difficulties with personal hygiene due to physical or mental health issues, it's crucial to seek help and support from healthcare professionals or mental health specialists to address and manage the underlying concerns. What happens when you shower too much? Showering too much, especially with hot water and harsh soaps, can have some negative consequences on your skin and overall health. Here are some potential issues that can arise from excessive showering. 1. Skin dryness and irritation. Frequent hot showers can strip the skin of its natural oils, leading to dryness, flakiness, and irritation. This can be particularly problematic for individuals with already dry or sensitive skin. Two. Skin Barrier Damage The skin has a natural protective barrier that helps retain moisture and protect against environmental irritants. Overshowering can weaken this barrier, making the skin more vulnerable to issues like eczema and infections. 3. Worsening of Skin Conditions People with conditions like eczema, psoriasis, or dermatitis may experience flare-ups and worsening symptoms if they shower too frequently or with harsh products. 4. Hair Damage Frequent washing, especially with hot water, can strip the hair of its natural oils, leading to dry, brittle, and damaged hair. 5. Bacterial imbalance. Excessive showering can disrupt the balance of good and bad bacteria on the skin, potentially leading to an overgrowth of certain bacteria and skin issues. 6. Environmental impact. Taking long or frequent showers can lead to increased water consumption which may not be sustainable in regions facing water scarcity. 7. Time and energy usage. Spending excessive time in the shower can be wasteful in terms of time and energy resources. It's essential to strike a balance when it comes to showering. For most people, a short shower with lukewarm water and mild cleansers is sufficient to cleanse the body without causing skin and hair problems. What are the healthy showering tips? 1. Shorter showers. Keep your showers short, ideally around 5 to 10 minutes. Prolonged exposure to water can strip the skin of its natural oils, leading to dryness and irritation. 2. Use lukewarm water. Avoid using hot water, as it can further dry out your skin. Opt for lukewarm water, which is less harsh on the skin. 3. Choose mild cleansers. Use gentle, fragrance-free cleansers or soap substitutes specifically formulated for sensitive skin. Avoid harsh soaps or products with strong fragrances, as they can be irritating. 4. Moisturize after showering. Apply a moisturizer immediately after showering while your skin is still slightly damp. 
This helps to lock in moisture and keep your skin hydrated. 5. Be gentle with your skin. Avoid scrubbing or using abrasive loofahs, as they can damage the skin. Instead, use your hands or a soft washcloth to cleanse your body. 6. Don't overwash your hair. Washing your hair every day can strip it of its natural oils. Instead, consider washing it every other day or every few days, depending on your hair type and scalp condition. 7. Protect your hair. If you prefer daily showers but want to preserve your hair's natural oils, consider using a shower cap to keep your hair dry while you focus on cleansing your body. 8. Avoid shampooing the ends of your hair. Concentrate shampoo on your scalp and roots, as the ends of your hair are the oldest and most delicate parts. 9. Be mindful of shaving. If you shave during your shower, use a clean and sharp razor and consider applying shaving cream or gel to reduce irritation. 10. Pat dry gently, after showering, pat your skin dry with a soft towel instead of rubbing, which can further irritate the skin. 11. Monitor water temperature, keep the water temperature comfortable and avoid extremely hot showers, as they can lead to skin dryness. 12. Consider alternatives, on days when you don't shower, you can consider other alternatives to freshen up, such as a sponge bath or using a washcloth to cleanse specific areas. 13. Stay hydrated. Drinking enough water can also help maintain your skin's moisture levels. 14. Know your skin type. Understand your skin type and any specific skin conditions you may have, and tailor your showering routine accordingly. Remember, everyone's skin and hair are different, so it's essential to find a showering routine that works best for you.